shot. Now, one, one thing I'll show you here, look, see the orange bar up there that's there? That's the render bar that's up there. And, oh, oh it's gone. <laughs> You don't have to do anything. It's automatically doing that all the time in the background, making sure the stuff is rendered. It's pretty amazing. So that quickly, we've done a match. Look at look at a nice color match between those things with a click. So pretty cool. Let me jump down a little bit further here. So we have another. This, this shot here. This is a shot on a, a GoPro camera. This brings up a, a really good point. This piece has a bunch of different types of content in it. Final Cut Pro 10 allows you to mix and match content without having to do any sort of transcoding. So if we can take in, yeah. We can take in the footage from your DSLRs, we can take in ABC HD, we can take in stuff from the GoPro, and you can just edit it natively. All the timeline. You can mix and match sizes, doesn't matter. It just takes care of it. So, what about this footage, you'll notice up, up in the roof of the car, it's, it's kind of muddy, it's kind of black there. So it'd be nice to do a little color correction here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to show my color board. And when I choose the color board, I've got, uh, I can adjust the color, the saturation, or the exposure. I've got a master control, and then I have controls for highlights, midtones, and shadows. So I can go ahead and just grab the shadow control and just bring up the shadows. So we'll bring up a little bit of detail up in the roof of the car. So that's my primary color correction. If I want to do some secondary color correction, say I want to adjust just her face, I can do that by just adding another color correction. And then I'm going to do a color range. So I'm going to use my eyedropper to pick a color range. And I can also do it based on a shape. And we've got really nice shape controls in here where you can choose a size, move it around, you can choose the fall off. These things can be animated over time, so you can follow things around. And then I just go over to the color board, and say we want to go into saturation. I can pull saturation down, I can pull it up, and I'm just adjusting it on that color range and on that section of the clip. So some really impressive color corrections, primary and secondary color correction, built right into the application. Woo!